Welcome to the Great Bay Discovery Center. Raise your hand if you've been here before. The Great Bay Estuary is a really unique environment and it's about 15 miles from the open ocean and it's still saline. There's still salt water here and so there are amazing plants and animals that live here and it's a really important ecosystem to the communities and to the people that live around here. And so the mission of the center is to really teach people about the estuary, about the plants and animals that live here and about how important it is ecologically. And she will be so an estuary is an area where fresh water and salt water mix. And they're special because they are influenced by the tide, they're influenced by changing salinities. So the type of animals and plants that live in an estuary are very adaptable and unique to those environments. Great Bay National Estuary and Research Reserve is a partnership between New Hampshire Fish and Game and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And it's basically a special designation that the federal government um, makes on a coastal or estuarine area and then enters a partnership with a state entity. It could be an agency, it could be a university. And there are 29 of these designated estuaries around the country and all of them have some similar basic requirements that we work together to achieve around the country, but we're all supposed to be doing that work in the context of what's important to our state agency and to what's important locally to our estuary. That orange buoy, we're, we're mostly orange buoys. That's our, that's our anchored swamp. That's what I figured when I was out there kind of looking around. I was yeah. like, that must be it. And this one is telemetered in a way that that sawn way out there has got a cable running all the way to that box. Up to that, yeah. yeah. I'm tasked to do head spearhead the, the research program here and the monitoring program and that involves A, going out and doing that monitoring and research and conducting research or supporting it somehow and a joint effort with co local colleagues or by supporting it through students that are interested in, in looking at the bay and trying to help them develop a project and implement a project. Where I get my research projects is usually I get interested research or scientists, whether they're professors or they're, um, they're consultants, and they're looking to answer a question in Great Bay. One of the questions that was asked to me was, you know, can we apply this new technology in estuaries of, of looking at uh, sequencing of, of animals and plants instead of just actually catching them? So we're looking to, we're trying to apply a, a methodology of, of environmental DNA here. We want kids to come through here and learn about the estuary and learn about Great Bay and how important it is to them. And then we want them to go home and we want them to talk about how important the estuary is. Why should we protect this environment? What can we do that protects important environmental ecosystems around the planet? So it's not just caring about the Great Bay, but it's caring about the environment as a whole. And so we try to connect kids to why should you care about the environment? What's in it for them? A key part of our mission is to integrate science, education, and outreach. And then to practice what we preach and what we find out in our science as we manage our own land and water. Make sure that everything adds up to 100, the double check that, you find some errors afterwards. Alright. We do long-term salt marsh monitoring, so we have three sites that have been set up for over 10 years now. We look at the vegetation in that marsh, we look at the pore water, we look at the sediment accretion. How is actually the marsh building? And it builds through plant growth, so the below ground biomass and the above ground biomass will decompose and build the surface. It also catches sediment from the uh, tide. This is a, a, a place that we're um, 
in, uh, developing as an education site to show people um, different ways. To we do programs called Conservation well, Action Education Programs, and we do them for adults, we do them for kids as well, but the pollinator workshop that we recently held brought gardeners together who are interested in learning more about pollinators. Uh, this is a tough perennial. It's actually, we're going to add it to the garden over there. How to attract them, what to do in their gardens, what to plant, and um, we had a group of adults come and take that workshop and then in hopes that they go back to their homes and friends and family and say, hey, we can plant a pollinator garden here. We can attract bees and butterflies and, and bats and things that will help improve the ecosystems. <laughs>